Amaziah was 25 years old when he became king, and he reigned 29 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jehodan of Jerusalem. And he did what was right in the sight of Yahweh, yet not with a whole heart. Now it happened, as soon as the kingdom was strong in his grasp, that he killed his servants who had struck down the king his father. But he did not put their sons to death, but did as it is written in the law in the book of Moses, which Yahweh commanded, saying, Fathers shall not be put to death for their sons, nor sons be put to death for their fathers, but each shall be put to death for his own sin. Moreover, Amaziah assembled Judah and appointed them according to their fathers' households under commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds throughout Judah and Benjamin, and he took a census of those from twenty years old and upward and found them to be three hundred thousand choice men, able to go out for military duty, able to handle spear and large shield. And he hired also one hundred thousand mighty men of valor out of Israel for one hundred talents of silver. But a man of God came to him, saying, O king, do not let the army of Israel go with you, for Yahweh is not with Israel nor with any of the sons of Ephraim. But if you do go, do it, be strong for the battle, yet God will cause you to stumble before the enemy, for God has power to help and to cause to stumble. Then Amaziah said to the man of God, But what shall we do for the hundred talents which I have given to the troops of Israel? And the man of God answered, Yahweh has much more to give you than this. Then Amaziah dismissed them, the troops which came to him from Ephraim, to go home. So their anger burned against Judah, and they returned home in burning anger. Now Amaziah strengthened himself and led his people forth, and went to the valley of salt and struck down ten thousand of the sons of Seir. The sons of Judah also captured ten thousand alive and brought them to the top of the cliff and threw them down from the top of the cliff, so that they were all split open. But the troops whom Amaziah sent back from going with him to battle raided the cities of Judah from Samaria to Beth Horon and struck down three thousand of them and plundered much plunder. Now it happened that after Amaziah came from striking down the Edomites, he brought the gods of the sons of Seir, set them up as his gods, worshipped them, and burned incense to them. Then the anger of Yahweh burned against Amaziah. And he sent him a prophet who said to him, Why have you sought the gods of the people who have not delivered their own people from your hand? Now it happened that as he was talking with him, the king said to him, Have we given you to be a royal counselor? Stop. Why should you be struck down? Then the prophet stopped and said, I know that God has counseled to destroy you, because you have done this and have not listened to my counsel. Then Amaziah king of Judah took counsel and sent to Joash the son of Jehoahaz the son of Jehu, the king of Israel, saying, Come, let us face each other. And Joash the king of Israel sent to Amaziah king of Judah, saying, The thorn bush which was in Lebanon sent to the cedar which was in Lebanon, saying, Give your daughter to my son as a wife. But a beast of the field that was in Lebanon passed by and trampled the thorn bush. You said, Behold, you have struck down Edom, and your heart has lifted you up to boast. Now stay at home, for why should you provoke calamity so that you, even you, would fall in Judah with you? But Amaziah would not listen, for it was from God that he might give them into the hand of Joash, because they had sought the gods of Edom. So Joash king of Israel went up, and he and Amaziah king of Judah faced each other at Beth Shemesh, which belonged to Judah. And Judah was defeated by Israel, and they fled each to his tent. Then Joash king of Israel seized Amaziah king of Judah, the son of Joash the son of Jehoahaz, at Beth Shemesh, and brought him to Jerusalem and broke down the wall of Jerusalem from the gate of Ephraim to the corner gate, four hundred cubits. And he took all the gold and silver and all the utensils which were found in the house of God with Obed-Edom, and the treasures of the king's house, the hostages also, and returned to Samaria. And Amaziah the son of Joash king of Judah lived fifteen years after the death of Joash son of Jehoahaz king of Israel. Now the rest of the acts of Amaziah, from first to last, behold, are they not written in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel? Now from the time that Amaziah turned away from following Yahweh, they conspired against him in Jerusalem, and he fled to Lachish, but they sent after him to Lachish and put him to death there. Then they carried him on horses and buried him with his fathers in the city of Judah.